Well, they're calling it the little town that could. That's right. Business owners in Phillipsburg and Osceola are bringing new ideas to the area while honoring local history. Our Peyton Kennedy shares three new projects in the works. She joins us live from Phillipsburg. Peyton, so what can the community expect in the coming months? Well, Matt and Maggie, with these new developments, you can take a trip down memory lane or get a taste of modern lifestyle all while in the Machannon Valley. First stop on Troy Hawk Run Highway. Well, we're standing in the old Fox's Pizza site. The new family owned, built, and operated site brings Clearfield County native Grace Compton's vision to life. My vision is to take people back in time. The name we came up with is Old Pops Corny, General Mercantile. The General Mercantile will sell bait and tackle, homemade beauty items, plus sweet treats like root beer floats and popcorn. We can have rocking chairs out front where people can come and talk and hang out. A little blast from the past, nostalgia. I think a lot of, a lot of the people who have been here a long time will remember that. Another sweet addition is coming across from Cold Stream Dam. It's the Cold Stream Creamery. Owner Tom Phillips is bringing ice cream back to the former Vox Dairy Freeze, plus... Homemade pierogies, uh, homemade apple dumplings. A couple miles down the road in Osceola Mills, the school locally known as Cowtel University will soon be transformed into a 12-unit luxury apartment building. The Phillipsburg Revitalization Corporation says these new ventures can find encouragement in the area's history. The businesses that have remained here have proven to other people who are looking to open a small business that Phillipsburg is a place that you can open a business and be successful. I think of Phillipsburg kind of as the little town that could. You know, we've had our our economic depression, but we've never gone away. We've we've stood the test of time, and we're coming back. The General Mercantile hopes to open their doors by late summer, but construction could run until next spring. The creamery will start scooping ice cream next month. Reporting in Phillipsburg, Peyton Kennedy, WTAJ News. Lots of things to look forward to. Peyton, thank you.